affordable housing or park. That's been the long and contentious debate over the empty city-owned lot off of Quail Gardens Drive in Encinitas. In June, City Council discussed an affordable housing development of 30 to 45 units on the site. No decision was made and the council formed a new task force instead that will explore locations for affordable housing in Encinitas. But $100,000 brought the controversial lot back to the agenda during Wednesday's City Council meeting. And I want to do something good for my neighbors. Uh, they've been good to me. Uh, I've really enjoyed uh, living in Encinitas. Glenn Johnson has offered the city $100,000 to establish a park on the lot and name it after his wife, Sally Johnson. And even though my wife is deceased and I may join her in a few years, I uh, hope many years, uh, I want to leave something for posterity. His offer was met with cheers and applause from some residents, including 10-year-old entrepreneur Oliver Pratt who raised money over the summer and presented his own offer. So far, I've made a whopping $1,542. Before the city can accept the donations, the Parks and Rec Department would need to study the feasibility of a park on the nine-acre lot. But advocates for affordable housing say the council should wait for the Affordable Housing Task Force report in November. Uh, the purpose of that task force is to look at every city-owned property and other sites in our community so that we can find a way to build a, an affordable community. And we have just started those meetings. Others had mixed feelings about the donation. If I had $100,000, can I just offer something to the city and hope it gets done? Um, it seems like a very undemocratic process to me. Council was divided, but approved the study of a park also due later this year. Tanya Thorne, KPBS News.